Welcome to Keep On Growing. I'm Mike Van Duzzi, and I planted 100,000 microgreen seeds. Now you probably have a few questions like, why? And is that it? And uh, no, this isn't it. This is just a regular container that we usually grow. And we always keep these on hand. The little continuous harvest system that we've got going is we keep these growing. We harvest it, we come in here, we start picking the bigger leaves, what we want. We leave some to grow. If there's two in a spot, we harvest one, leave the other one to grow to maturity. And while we're doing that, we've got these growing so that when we completely harvest one of these, clean it out, put some fresh nutrients, come back here, pick a couple of those, we're back in business within 28 days we're going to have another harvest and then we've had several of these going in different spots so you have this system going over and over and over again so that's why we like microgreen seeds now people ask me why do i use microgreen seeds for this and it's for the cost you know on this channel we like to do things cheap and easy right if you go into the store like the home improvement center and you go buy seeds if you go buy pak choy seeds you're going to pay 2.99 3.99 you know uh, upwards of four or five ninety nine depending on if it's organic or not and then how many are in the pack and a couple of other factors but basically you're paying that much and you're not getting very many seed inside of that packet they're thinking you're going to go into your garden plant a couple of rows come back and thin it out they're not thinking that you're going to grow like a whole tray of microgreens so if you go to get microgreens if you go to true leaf market you can go down and they'll have uh how much you know how many ounces or pounds are in each packet, how much it costs, and then usually on the same page, they'll have how many seeds are like in each, each portion too. Now with the pak choy, it's one ounce, it's six dollars and 12 cents, so like six bucks, and you get 6,800 seeds, so 7,000 seeds for six dollars. Now for a couple dollars more, eight dollars, you get four ounces, which is a quarter of a pound, and you get 27,000 seeds. So you can already see we're already a quarter of the way there, right? So if we go up to a pound, the little one pound packets, and I buy a lot of just one pound packets, it's 19.52, so 20 bucks, and you have 108,000 seeds. And that's what we did was we took a pound of microgreens and I planted it out back. Now, I didn't use just pak choy. What I did was I used a lot of leftover stuff. We have a lot of different microgreens. You know, we get down towards the end of a lot of bags. So I used the seeds that were about the same size so that I knew I would get about the same um, amount. And so with the pak choy, I've got some mustard. There's some broccoli. There's some, uh, what else is in there? Turnip, the purple turnip. So there's a couple of different things in there with the, and I think I even threw some of my wife's alfalfa in to fill in some spots because the first couple of days I just tossed them on top. I didn't cover them up or anything. Just tossed them on top, watered them. Some birds grabbed some, some squirrels came through. My chihuahua, for some reason, wouldn't go around it, would walk right through it. So as they started to grow, I had to fill in a couple of spots. Uh, so I used alfalfa for that, but basically it's, it's our pak choy, broccoli turnip uh, and mustard and just water a couple times just like we're doing microgreens and it comes out looking pretty cool like a big chia pet right now if you grow that out right we've got a hundred thousand when i take a little close up it looks kind of impressive like there's a lot of microgreens but when i pull back you know it's not all that big right i think this spot's about somewhere around five feet by nine feet you know just kind of estimate and you can see i put one of these containers by it right by it so you can kind of see you know what it looks like compared to this what i usually grow one little takeout tray like that and you can see about how many takeout trays would fit that probably like i don't know 180 something you know rough guess but from this one tray you know i would grow that i would take only a small spot about this big to grow all of that pak choy you saw on the table. So remember the little 28 day, the um, uh, daily updates we did, the little month long experiment where you saw me plant these out and you watch them grow for a whole month. All of that stuff on that table came from like just a little spot, not even a whole tray of this. So you can see how big that spot is on the ground and just imagine, you know, that's a pound, that's a hundred thousand seeds. You know, it sounds like a lot, a hundred thousand microgreen seeds, a hundred thousand plants. And it was twenty dollars 
So now go into the grocery store with $20 and see how many pak choy plants you can buy. Yeah, not very many, right? So if you buy in bulk, and that's why I buy microgreen seeds too, you can buy regular traditional seeds in bulk, but I like these because they're bred to be a microgreen seed. And if I, you, like I said, I only use a small spot like this to grow that whole table. So I know that I can eat some microgreens and then I can have some to plant out. So I like using the microgreen seeds. We, there's different varieties. We like getting different things like, you know, like the wasabi flavored one, you know, uh, mustard greens, things that we usually won't find in the store. And um, I figure if I just want the regular stuff that's available, I'll just go buy that if I need it or I'll grow some of my own. But if I have limited space, I like to get a little more exotic stuff mixed up in it. So while we're sitting here just contemplating all this and just thinking about it, look at that little spot, 100,000 plants. This on the table, we planted it out. I think we had 12 containers by six at 72 and I had 10 more, 72, 82. So there was about 82 spots. So let's just say there's 80 spots and we had um, two plants in each one, right? So 160 plants. So that table, all of that pak choy that was sitting there, that was only 160 plants. Now imagine 100,000. So imagine about 500 tables like that, full of plants. So that's what I wanted you to see is that that's what I want you guys to wrap your head around. Look at the little spot that we got growing out there, the little chia pet, right? That we've got sitting in our backyard, five by nine. That's $20 worth of microgreen seeds, right? And now look at the table, how much we grew there. Imagine 500 of those tables. Yeah, for $20. And I know some of you are saying nutrients, but that whole table, right? I didn't refill it. The, you saw me, if you went through the 28 day experiment, you saw that we didn't even refill it. Just like the crack key experiment. You know, you put the stuff in, it goes down one gallon, one head of lettuce, we didn't refill the pak choy. Now this one, these need it. You know, they went down to about half and they need about a quart each. I could go ahead and fill them up and let them keep growing. But to that point that you see them out there, we didn't refill it. And when I initially set it up, I used 12 gallons on it. Then I made three more with some of the leftover ones out front. I think I used 15 gallons total. Now, if you planted these in the ground and you turn your sprinkler on, or irrigation or whatever, how fast would you go through 15 gallons? Not even in a day, right? Not even an hour, probably a couple of minutes, you go through 15 gallons of water. All of that pak choy grew with 15 gallons of water. And the nutrients you guys know, we're talking about pennies per gallon. So even if we were growing 500 tables, it's not gonna be that much of a cost for the nutrients. And then you add on 20 cent, or 20, 20 cents, 20 dollars for the seed. Do you see how much food you can grow for a, a small amount if you're buying in bulk and you're doing it in bulk? So this is what I want you all to think about. It's a little food for thought. You know, you start out small. You can go up to the home improvement centers and get little packets of seed to experiment, to taste things. And we've got something exciting coming with True Leaf Market. Um, like I said, not set in stone yet, but uh, it's moving along. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have a sample pack for you guys, which is going to be awesome. But you get small sample packs and you give those a try and you like them. And you think, find out what you're good at growing, what your taste, what you like. And then you scale up from there. And then you can really save a lot of money. You can scale up so much that you can get some friends if they want to do it too, or your family. And you get them growing too. And maybe you grow the pak choy and then they'll grow the kale and they'll grow something else and, and everybody can just do like we had back when everybody had a victory garden and they were growing their own food and everybody can share and, and swap food. This is the kind of stuff that if you learn how to do it and it just comes natural that when times are bad, when times are good and bad and they go up and down, that you know how to do stuff like this, that you can take care of yourself, you can be a little more self-sufficient. And you don't have to depend on somebody else for every single thing that you eat that you can provide for yourself at least a little bit and that's a wonderful feeling 
All right, you guys, I hope that helps. I hope that puts everything into a little perspective for you and you look at things a little bit different. Get out there, share this with people. Everybody get grown, share your food, and lift and inspire. Keep on growing. Be a change. We'll catch you later. <laughs>